Hello, my name is Max. I am the rector, the church leader here in Bedhampton Parish. You will be aware that in line with government recommendations, our senior church leaders have said that we must place on hold our regular services and meetings. I stand here in St Thomas's on Bibbury Lane. Along with St Nicholas's on Belmont Grove, it is one of the two venues that we as a church meet in. I use the word venues very deliberately because you'll also be aware that actually the church are the people and not the buildings. And it's we, the people, who worship locally here in Bedhampton, nationally and internationally across the world. We are gathered under Jesus. Psalm 96 says this, it says, Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord and praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvellous deeds among all peoples. You see, we who walk with Jesus, we who would call ourselves Christians, we are people of hope and we walk with Jesus, the light of the world. And we are called to declare that locally, nationally and internationally. Since the announcement that we are no longer able to meet together regularly, I have been praying and thinking about what our response to the coronavirus must be. Micah 6.8 says that our response to all things is to act justly, to love mercy and to walk humbly with our God. And then later we read in the book of Matthew, one of the biographies of Jesus, that we are to love God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and we are to love our neighbour as ourselves. Or as we have framed it in our purpose statement here in Bedhampton, we are to serve the community of Bedhampton by sharing God's love and friendship. As I awoke very early this morning, I felt in a nudge from the Holy Spirit that that was exactly what our response must be. That we should love God and love people, locally, internationally and nationally. And so here is what our response as a church in Bedhampton, as a local church, is to be. Firstly, we are to love God. Now, being the geek that I am, my first idea would be that we would stream our traditional services here from St Thomas, perhaps a Holy Communion, so that people might join in with them over the internet. And then perhaps we might stream a more contemporary service from St Nicholas. But you see, we are a church gathered across the world, locally, nationally and internationally. And so I realised that actually we can worship as a church across the world. And so what I will do now is rather than duplicate that, I will put on our website every Sunday the very best of traditional worship. A service from somewhere, perhaps like Portsmouth Cathedral or one of our other traditional services in our nation. And you will be able to join in with that. And equally, because we are a church, who wants to be a place where all ages gather together to worship God in a range of expressions, I will seek out and put on our website the best of contemporary worship services for you to join in with every week. But because we are also a local church who are called to worship locally, every Sunday I will put upon our website a reflection and a prayerful service maybe 20 minutes or so long, filmed in one of our church venues. The focus of which will be our response here in Bedhampton. I want you to join in with that. Maybe you could send me a prayer request. Maybe you could send me a reading that you have been inspired by. Perhaps you could tell me of the stories of hope and light in your street, where you see God working in Bedhampton. And we will share that together every week. I'll also be posting material 
for our young people and our children to continue worshipping their God here in Bedhampton. So we will respond by worshipping and loving God locally, nationally and internationally. But we are also called to love people. And so we will do that locally, nationally and internationally as well. We'll do that locally simply by responding to those you already know around you. Those you know in your street. Those you know around the area. We might phone them. We might ask them what they, we can do to help. Perhaps if they're isolated, we might check in and see that they're okay. As a church, we have responded locally by creating Bedhampton Friends. It's a system where we are trying to link up those who are offering help with those who need help. And you can find out more about that on our website. So our response is to love people locally. But our response is also to love people nationally. To understand that we stand well here in Bedhampton. And that others are not as well off at this time as we are. And so we respond, respond by not hoarding. We respond by not responding to supermarket shortages. But actually by just getting what we need. We respond as well by giving to food banks. Food banks like the Beacon in Havant who are in such desperate need at the moment. We respond by nationally by actually praying for those on the front line, the NHS staff that we know, others as well who are on the front line, others who put their health in danger to serve us. So we respond locally and nationally, but we also respond by loving people internationally. As a country, we stand in good stead to respond to the pandemic. But not all nations stand in such a good place. And indeed, around the world, issues continue. There is still trafficking. There is still those who need food. There are still those who need shelter and water. And there are still those who suffer under conflict. And so we respond by seeking the Holy Spirit. And asking God, who is it that you would place upon our hearts? Who might we pray for across the world? And indeed, who might we support by digging into our pockets? So we love God locally, nationally and internationally. And we love people locally, nationally and internationally. That is our response to the coronavirus. That is our response to this pandemic. So why don't you email me or phone me your responses. Phone me your stories. Let us know what you are doing as a response to this. And join me every Sunday in one of those traditional or contemporary services or indeed in our own reflective service posted by me. But don't wait until then. Pray now. Pray now to the God who loves you beyond measure. Declaring that light overcomes darkness. Pray now for those around you. Pray across the nations. And my friends, join me in that prayer. And may the God who has beaten this, may the God who has won all battles, bless you and those you love. Always. Amen.